Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sashana and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this scissor inspired braided bang. So this was my first time doing this style and I think it came out super cute. My client loved it but there are a lot of things that I do differently if I should ever do this style again and I'm going to be sharing those things with you guys in this video. For this style, I used three and a half packs of 18 inch expression braiding hair in the color 1B. I'm not sure how many braids I did, but I know I did eight rows. So I started by parting and braiding her hair just like I would for a regular knotless braid style. I'm not going to get into details about parting or braiding because I already have a dedicated video on this channel for that. So if you are a beginner, feel free to go and check that out. This style is mainly about the braided bang. So for now, I'm just going to let you guys watch me work until I get to the front of her hair and then I'll explain how to part and braid the bang. Now that we're at the top, I have a few tips for you guys. First, I want you guys to pay attention to how I part the top. So what was supposed to be three rows, you can see that I split that in half horizontally. Then I went ahead and pre-part the front in this semi-circle-like pattern so that when I start braiding, the braids would fall flat on her forehead, just like this. You see how nicely those braids fall in the front? That is why you want to part the front like this. I made the braids in the front smaller than the ones in the back because she wanted her bang to look full and it's much easier to get the beads on if the braids are smaller. I didn't get to show you guys how I added the beads to the front because it was so hard to tuck her natural hair in the braid into the bead that I honestly forgot that I was recording. And that's another thing guys, make sure you get big beads with a wide opening for this style. The ones I used were definitely too small so it was kind of a struggle to get them on the braid but I made it work. 
Also, don't cut your ends until after you've placed the beads on them to ensure that all the beads are on the same length. So I thought that because I was going to add beads to the ends that I didn't need to hot water the ends but that was not a good idea. Make sure you hot water your ends before you put the beads on because one it makes the braid less stiff and more flexible for the beads and two it keeps the braid together. As you guys can see some of my braids actually started to unravel at the end and before I added the beads I had to go in and braid down some of them again which just wasted time so you know make sure you hot water your ends so this is the final look she really loved how these came out and i was so happy that she did because again this was my first time doing a braided beaded bang but yeah this is how they turned out super cute if you guys have any questions about this style feel free to leave them in the comments don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more hair tutorials thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one